With the edges of the wing sanded, um, we're going to go ahead and assemble them, and we're going to glue them together. Uh, for that, we're going to need this thin uh, dihedral jig. Um, and the way this works is we'll take the middle piece and we'll set it on the jig. And you'll notice that there are some notches right here. Um, these are for uh, glue um, so that when we put it together and, and squish them together and, and the glue starts oozing out, it, it doesn't stick to the cardboard itself. It will just go into that notch and it keeps us from gluing the wing to the cardboard. So the middle one goes in there like that. Then you find the appropriate wing panel and you'll test fit them first. And what we're looking for is a nice um, straight line with no gaps. Now I got a little bit of a gap right here at the end. Um, it's not bad. Um, if you get a big gap, go ahead and resand the fin using the um, sanding jig. Uh, but this one, um, this is at the end where um, it's not as structural as it is here in the middle. So I'm just going to let glue fill that. Uh, then I want to test the other side. So what you do is you just turn the wing around, put it right in the middle, and then you'll slide that one in there like that. And that one looks pretty good too. So. Now you can use wood glue to glue these together. It's going to take a little bit longer. I'm going to use super glue and it's going to use the water thin variety. Um, I'm going to put my glasses on and we're also going to need the medium or thick plus our insta set which makes it kick a little bit faster. The first thing I'll do is I'll seal the end with the thin. Just put it on there and just let it wick in. This is going to kick off really fast and just blot up any excess. Okay, I'm going to do the wing panels as well. safety goggles when using the thin because it can splash and you don't want it splashing in your eye you'll glue your eye shut. Never had that happen. Don't want to. Um, so I'm just going to let this set up just a minute or so and then I'm going to take some fine grit sandpaper and it got a little bit rough so I'm just going to just lightly lightly sand it just to take off the, the, the rough part. And I got a little burr along the bottom, so I'm just kind of taking that off too. I'm going to do all, all of the surfaces. Remember to conform it to the to the uh, flatness because it's beveled, so you got to conform it to that. Now you can also use the sanding jig on the table again to take off that excess. Okay, so I'm done with the thin. And now I'm going to switch to the thick or medium. So I'm going to put my wing back on there. I'm going to take my glue. Oh, it's clogged. <laughs> yeah, it's clogged. I'm going to have to pause here, unclog my glue bottle, and I'll be right back. Okay, my glue bottle is unclogged now. I'll just put a bead of glue, and there's quite a lot on there. I'm just kind of smear it around with the tip. Wipe the tip off so it doesn't get clogged again. And make sure that this is in the middle of that little circular notch and then lay this panel on there and just slide it down so it touches. Alright, and it's going to ooze out like it did right there. 
That's that's fine. I'm just gonna wipe that off. And this is where the insta set comes in. Just kind of holding it down and just spray it lightly. And I take another paper towel and this kind of wipes the insta set around so that it covers everything. And I'm gonna gently lift it off. And I'm gonna gently wipe off what comes out on the bottom. And I'll plot the insta set there. And then wipe that off. Okay. So that panel is on. I'll switch it around to do this side. And the same way, we'll just put some glue on there. Make sure that that's nice and centered. Smear it around. Wipe the tip off. I got a little bit that's oozed out already on the surface. Okay, I'm going to lay it on the, the wind jig and I'm just going to slide it down. Just like that. Push it in tight. And just wipe it in. any excess first and then hit it again with insta set. Okay, so I'm going to let this sit for a couple of minutes um, and then you can put a fillet of glue along here to fill in any, any of the gaps that you have because that's going to make a really strong wing. Okay, so the Insta set has all evaporated away. Um, so I can put my fillets on. And I, you don't want the Insta set on there because it's going to kick off and glue your glue tip to the, to the wood. Um, you also need a plastic baggie. And really all I want to do is make a, a really light fillet in there and then to fill any gaps that I have on the surface. So I'm just going to lay a thin bead of glue down. And then I'm going to take the plastic bag and using my finger just spread it around and smooth it out. And then I'll take the Insta set and then I'll spray it. And I'm not going to wipe it this time with the paper uh, because I just want it to harden where it is because I don't want to smear it around. I'll do the same on this one. Take the plastic bag again and just smear it down. One more spritz ought to do it. Okay. Um, while the top is kind of curing, you can take your finger and you'll, you'll feel it's a little bit rough on the bottom. So what we're going to do is to sand it. We'll sand this way going up and then we'll sand going across and we'll be left with a really nice tight joint there. Now the, the front edge, I have to work it a little bit because it's curved around, coming around the leading edge. Do the same on the other side. Okay, that's nice and tight there. And then on this side, <coughs> Because you can't get into the corner, take the uh, sandpaper and just use your finger and just sand along that joint. And this is very fine grit sandpaper.
tight. So now my wing is done. It's very strong. And if I set it on a table, I've got equal amounts of dihedral on both sides. This wing is going to fly nice and straight and level, um, and that's what you want. Um, so this concludes the, the building of the wing, um, and now the next step will be to sand the tail or building the slide box. It's, the choice is yours. Um, so until that next video, I'll see you then.